Hello, thank you so much for joining me today for Give Him 15. Some may wonder why I haven't yet commented on the recent news regarding the Appeal to Heaven flag. The reason is that Cece and I were out of the office last week. I recorded the posts in advance. I will release a post regarding this iconic flag and the ridiculous controversy tomorrow. Today's post is very important and time sensitive. Had I not been out of town, I would have released it sooner. It's from my brother, Tim, and concerns the release of signs and wonders many prophets have spoken of. We believe this outpouring is beginning. Listen as Tim shares, and the title of his post is, It Is Time for Miracles. On Friday, this is Tim now, the entire post. On Friday, May 3rd, 2024, the Oasis, the church I pastor, held a meeting with prophet Hank Kuhneman. He released a powerful word that included an assignment of prayer and fasting. We've been asking Holy Spirit for the right time to fulfill this and believe tomorrow, May 29th through June 5th, is that time. Before reading part of the prophetic word, I want to share a health update, Tim says. Some already know that I've been dealing with a stage four cancer diagnosis and attack on my health for over a year. I've completed radiation and am in the process of regaining strength while still in an ongoing treatment plan. I'm doing well, receiving positive test results for which we give God the glory. Hank did not know of this on May 3rd. As you hear this word, keep in mind that it applies not just to the oasis or me, but also to the corporate body of Christ in our nation and world. The prophetic word concerns a healing movement Holy Spirit now wants to initiate a new level of healings and miracles. Listen closely as I share a portion of this prophetic word. And we're now quoting from the prophecy. There is something stirring over this house. I can see a whirlwind in the spirit over this church. It's a stirring by the angelic. There's an angel sent to this house. I can see it. God says to this house, you have been standing, decreeing, and believing for the healing of families, homes, and prodigals. This is what I'm doing. However, I'm not just healing families. I'm also healing this nation, for this nation has been like a prodigal to me. And I am calling it back. So continue your decrees. Continue your prayers. And you will begin to see something manifest over this house. You will see loved ones and family members come. They will return not only, not only to me, but to this house. They will be discipled. And you'll see a wave of growth that will begin to increase like you saw during a former period in this house. There is a revisitation of that because you have aligned yourself with the kiss of the father as he kissed the prodigal. I have kissed this house to bring family members back to this house, household salvations, return of prodigals. But also, God says, that anointing shall also be sent and released over this country to bring it back to me and bring it back into divine order. There have been incantations and witchcraft spoken to bring infirmity to this house, to touch individuals of this house with infirmity. But God says there is something swirling now that is countering it. 
and it is an angel that's been sent as it was in the days when the man was at the pool of Bethesda for 38 years. God says, listen to me. There is an anointing that I'm going to revisit in this house of a healing movement from generations prior. Those that operated in divine healing and those that operated in signs, wonders, and miracles. And it was part of a bloodline, a legacy. It was part of that which I visited in past generations. This angel has now been sent to revisit the bloodline and the inheritance upon this pastor and those who are of his blood. And it has come now to this house to stir the waters of healing. For there is a time that I will call this house to pray and fast specifically for this stirring. It'll be a short fast, but will be powerful. It is a call to specifically ask for the angel and pray for the pastor. Uh, pray for the pastor. I sat over this house. God says, what can be done in seven days? What can happen in seven days when you seek my face? Fast and pray. Watch what I do with this angel and this leader. Watch what this angel shall release over this house and even to you, Pastor Tim, for this house. There will be a stirring of waters, of signs, wonders, and healing that will happen during this time because part of that inheritance is through you, pointing now to Rachel. Pastor Tim's daughter and worship leader there. And it's going to come stronger and it's going to come through the instruments. And there was more, which we provide a link to of this prophetic word. Tim continues. Hank did not know that a part of my history goes back to the voice of healing movement of the 1950s and 60s. Great healing evangelists, Gordon Lindsay, A.A. A. Allen, T.L. Osborne, Oral Roberts, Catherine Kuhlman, and so many others were used to release great miracles, many miracles. Though not well known, my dad, our dad, my dad, Tim's dad, was one of those healing evangelists. Healing, Tim says, is part of my family legacy. It is. We are now being asked to fast and pray for a restoration of the healing movement that I was raised in. Prophet Hank was also unaware that I had, now Tim is saying this, I was a part of what he's, gonna, of what he's about to say. Pastor Hank was also unaware that I had been talking and praying weekly with a group of apostles and prophets for the past several months, asking for the restoration of this healing movement, that which he was prophesying. Holy Spirit said through Hank, that it's time to fast and pray for the sending of an angel to assist in this breakout of healings, and miracles. While part of this word, Tim says, was for me, I know I represent the church in general. I am asking and invite you to join me that not only will I be totally healed, but that this fresh mantle of signs and wonders will now be released to many, resulting in thousands being healed around the world. It is time. We have our assignment, he says. Please ask the Lord how you can participate and engage with us. Some will fast all food, drinking only water or juice. Others will do a Daniel fast. Some will fast a meal a day, and still others will fast pleasures, such as TV, sweets, etc. Use wisdom. Fast only as he leads you. But please set these seven days aside to fast and pray Holy Spirit's strategy. Beginning tomorrow, Tim says, Wednesday, May 29th, uh, and that's when the fast begins, 
I, Tim, will provide a daily decree for you. You can go to our website. We give you the link and we'll give it again at the end or our social media pages to see the decree of that day and release it with thousands of others. I'm believing, this is me talking, I'm believing for tens of thousands of people around this nation and nations to join us in this seven days. I know, Tim says, that many of you will participate, and I thank you in advance. Let's set our faith to begin the activation and release of this fresh healing movement. Amen. I'm adding, you'll be hearing more about this soon. Let's pray. Father, move among us as we commit ourselves to this time of fasting, prayer. We will obey as best we can. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the prophetic and for strategy. We pray, as you instructed us, that the angel of healing you are sending will help us activate this movement. We pray that our decrees and prayer will align with heaven in such a way that angels are released to participate and help in bringing this to pass. We pray for entire families to be saved and come to houses of worship. We pray for millions of prodigals to come home. We ask for healings and miracles to accelerate under Holy Spirit's leadership, assisted by angel armies. Resurrect the healing movement. Remantle your people with gifts of healing, the working of miracles, the gift of faith, words of knowledge. Activate healings and miracles as we set ourselves to seek your face, pray, and fast. In Jesus' name. And our decree, we decree that a fresh healing movement will now begin throughout the world, bringing freedom to many great and great glory to Christ. Amen. For the daily details and daily decrees for this time of prayer and fasting, you can use the link we've provided. Also given, also we've given you a link to Hank Kuhneman's prophetic word. And I'll say one more time, today's post was contributed by my older brother, Tim. You can learn more about him at timsheets.org. One of the more important voices in the earth right now, I believe. God speaks to him clearly. Check him out. Join us. This is big. This is important. And I hope to see you tomorrow.